welcome back to Iran Daily News Feed. I'm Kate and let's have a look at Iran. A local study shows 38% of nurses have considered committing suicide. Fayyabur Taj, a member of the Central Council of the Iranian Psychological System organization said, the results of a study in Malayar Hospital showed that more than 38% of nurses had suicidal thoughts or were ready to commit suicide. In an interview, he told the state-run ISNA news agency on September 10th that the outbreak of COVID-19 and its related work consequences has led to an increase in suicide among nurses in different countries of the world. The rate of suicide among nurses is more than general population suicide rate. He also added, the study on nurses also shows that female nurses are more likely to suffer from anxiety and depression than male nurses, and single nurses are more prone to suicidal ideation. In May, there were reports of serious death of specialized medical students in Iran. In a report quoting an expert, Rukna News Agency published about serial suicide of residents, mentioning psychological trauma, occupational discrimination, and drug use, which were cited as possible causes of suicide, but accurate and clear statistics have not been provided, as usual. In recent days, there have been reports of an increase in the migration of nurses from Iran. A member of the Supreme Council of the Nursing Organization, Yusuf Rahimi, announced a six-fold increase in the demand for nurses to immigrate, saying perhaps more than 1,500 nurses migrate each year. The terrorist group backed by the Islamic Republic has announced that they have started an operation against ISS in the Iraqi al Anbar government. In a statement, the Tehran-backed People's Mobilization Forces say it has operated out four brigades on the Iraq-Syria border. The Shai terrorist group claims that it seeks to destroy its Sunni counterpart. Since Tehran-backed proxies have been established in the region, the military sites housing U.S. forces as well as the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad have come under rocket attacks, which are mostly operated by Shiite armed factions linked to the Islamic Republic. There is a long-term dramatic shadow war in the Middle East between the Islamic Republic and the U.S. and its allies, mainly Israel and the Saudi Arabia. Hezbollah and Hamas are deployed to wreck Israel as well as Houthis and other proxies are targeting Saudi Arabia, Iraq and Arab states on the shores of the Persian Gulf. Donald Trump was right on the Islamic Republic and its proxies as his administration imposed 40% of those sanctions. The six terrorist groups backed by the Tehran which Trump had imposed sanctions on them were Ansar Allah, Asaib Ahl al -Haq, HHN and Zainabun. Between 2017 and 2020, Washington designated seven groups and 32 leaders tied to the Islamic Republic as one of Trump's top foreign policy goals was to limit Ayatollah's regional influence and support for militants across the Middle East. Trump said in May 2017 that from Lebanon to Iraq to Yemen, the Islamic Republic funds, arms, and trains terrorists, militants, and other extremist groups that spread destruction and chaos across the region. He also added, for decades, Tehran has fueled the fires of sectarian, conflict, and terror. Liquidity and inflation, unemployment, poverty and inequality, national debt, energy consumption and economic security are six economic crises in Iran which are worsening every day. The poverty line in Iran during 2020 had grown about 38% whereas the income of the Iranian people has decreased by 34%. More than a million jobs were lost last year. Statistics show that only 3 out of 10 Iranians are employed. Based on an official report from the Ministry of Welfare, one out of three Iranians lives below the poverty line. State-run Isna news agency predicts that inflation will continue to rise 
in the upcoming months. Regarding the record of 45.2% inflation last month, they said the main reason for the high inflation is the growth of liquidity, which was due to the government's large withdrawals from the petty cash account to cover the budget deficit, which has greatly increased the monetary base. As stated by IRGC-run TASNIM news agency Javad Oji, the Minister of Oil of the Raisi administration, on the sideline of a visit to the Tehran refinery said, the volume of fuel reservers of the power plant is 30% less than last year and it is predicted that in January and February 2022, Iran will face a deficit of 200 million cubic meters of gas per day. That was all for today. I'm Kate and thank you for the privilege of your time.